Number 57. Calculate the ionization constant for each of the following acids or bases from the ionization constant of its conjugate base or conjugate acid. Okay, so in this case we have letter E and we have NO2 minus. So the first thing is, is whether this is an acid or a base. I'm looking at this and remember acids are known by either a plus sign or hydrogens, but this has neither of it. There's no hydrogens here and there's no plus sign. Generally speaking, if you see that you have a negative, it could act as a base. But since there's no hydrogens here, this definitely is going to be the base. And if NO2- nitrite is a base, the ionization constant you would be finding is Kb. Now I went to the back of the textbook and I found the conjugate acid of NO2-. It would be HNO2. You gain a hydrogen, right? And then you plus one from your charge. Negative plus one is zero, and that's why you don't see any uh, number here. But the Ka value for HNO2 is 4.6 times 10 to the negative fourth. So ideally, all we got to do is just convert the Ka value, whoop, Ka, to the Kb, which is what we want. Formula that comes to mind. There's only one of them that you can convert Ka to Kb, and that's this formula right here. It's the Kw formula. Kw equals Ka times Kb. Now if we're trying to solve for Kb, which is right here, we would want to get Kb by itself, so you would divide by Ka on both sides. And that's what I'm going to do just to make this more simpler in terms of the video. But you could do all your math here. Whoa! You could do your math all in this equation, but just for simplicity of the video, we're just going to pull this over. This is going down here. This is going over here. And this equals Kb. Okay. So we know what the Ka value was. That was the one that we found in the back of the chapter, or the back of the textbook, 4.6 times 10 to the negative fourth. And if it's in the back of a chapter or a textbook, the Kw value is also at room temp. You probably have to memorize this one, 1 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. So let's do the math. So something divided by something equals Kb, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 4.6 times 10 to the negative 4th. Let's find out what that Kb is. Calc time. So I get 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 4.6 times 10 to the negative 4th. 2 sig figs, 2.1 times 10. Uh, nope, just kidding. 2.2 .2 if we round. 2.2 times 10 to the negative 11th. So 2.2 .2 times 10 to the negative 11th, and that is your Kb. Okay, this question is done. We did all the parts. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.